from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. The State Health Department reports over 31,000 new coronavirus infections and 217 deaths. This data is for the past two days. That update pushes the statewide total to more than 1,350,000 cases. Nearly 22,000 Floridians have died from the virus. The state's positivity rate is over 10 percent. That's more than double the rate health experts want in order to slow the spread. And a heads up, if you need a COVID test, the Raymond James Stadium testing site will reopen tomorrow at a new location. The site was moved across Dale Mabry Highway to a different parking lot. We're told digital message boards will help guide you there. We have a map of test sites across the Bay Area on ABCActionNews.com. Just click on our coronavirus section. And seniors in Hillsborough County will have a chance to get a COVID-19 vaccine starting Wednesday. The four locations we have on our website, that's abcactionnews.com, you do have to make an appointment. We have this information along with the breakdown of vaccine distributions in every county, again, on our website. Well, it came down to the wire yesterday at Raymond James Stadium as Ole Miss took on Indiana. In the end, Ole Miss pulled ahead, winning 26 to 20. Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corral threw for 342 yards and two touchdowns, and the Rebels won their first bowl game since 2015. Now, although there was a lot of buzz behind the game, it definitely looked different than years past. About 13,000 fans were allowed inside Raymond James. That's about 20% capacity. Most of the normal Outback Bowl events got canceled this week because of the pandemic, but fans of both teams traveled to Tampa for the game. Throughout the season, the Big Ten didn't allow fans at all, so for Indiana folks, it was their first chance to see the team in person. Now let's check in with Greg D for a look at your forecast. And Jasmine, we've got some rain around early to start today, but the afternoon is looking better in terms of rainfall, though. I still think we'll see a lot of clouds hang around today. Temperatures in the mid 60s through noon and two o'clock may see some breaks of sun during the late afternoon. If you're heading out to the coast, you may be able to catch a sunset this evening with those temperatures falling into the 60s and 50s by eight o'clock as northwest winds pick up and the humidity really starts falling. Much cooler weather in the seven day forecast. You can check that out now in the free ABC Action News app. Jasmine. Thanks, Greg. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device, and we'll see you there.